This story is by Twilight Mia. This story is called The Wooden Wolf with Yellow Eyes. Jessie was a young, cheerful woman that had a lot of friends and a good relationship with her family. She lived in a nice house in a peaceful village. One day, her grandmother died and left her a very special family heirloom, which she would receive on the day of the funeral. On the day of the funeral services, she got dressed and went to the graveyard where her mother would be buried. Following the funeral, the lawyer asked Jessie if she could help him carry the big box to her car. She arrived at her house and managed to carry the big box inside. She opened it slowly and looked inside. When Jessie saw what it was, she was filled with terror. Inside the box was a wooden life-size statue of a white wolf. It had its mouth open and showed its sharp fangs. She had a sudden flashback and remembered that it always scared her as a kid. Its evil yellow eyes made of glass seemed to always stare at her with discontent. Why does Grandma want me to keep this thing? She wondered. While she cleaned up, she came upon a small note that read, Whatever you do, never burn the statue. Jessie decided to hide the wolf, so she put it as far away from her as possible, in the attic. A few months passed and winter came. One very cold evening, Jessie ran out of firewood. It was too late in the evening to fetch some. She needed to keep the fire burning to keep warm. Then she remembered about the wooden statue that she had stashed in the attic. She decided to use it as firewood. So she got it downstairs as quickly as possible. Then she ran out to the back to get her axe from the shed. At that moment, Jessie only worried about staying warm. But she remembered what the note said. She started to chop the wolf into pieces and quickly threw the pieces into the fire. She sat there smiling warming herself until she finally dozed off. A few minutes later, a deep growling sound woke her. She opened her eyes. Right in front of her stood a burning wolf. It was burning with rage. She screamed loudly and tried to flee. Someone help me, please! She cried as she tried to open the door. But it was too late. The wolf had lunged at her. Next morning, the neighbors went over to investigate Jessie's house. They had heard strange noises the night before. They knocked on the door, but no one answered. So they decided to go in. As they opened the door, they noticed a bloody trail from the door to the living room. They walked in further to look around. There, to their terror, they saw in the fireplace the head of a wooden wolf, with its yellow eyes glaring at Jessie's little head, all burned and black. <laughs>